<laughs> Quizzy Wizzy, the mysteries of Earth are waiting for you. Subscribe! What is a tornado? Just a light breeze or a spinning column of air with great force? The correct answer is a spinning column of air with great force. A tornado is a powerful rotating column of air that connects the ground to the sky. It looks like a giant cone made of wind, dust, and debris. If it were just a breeze, it would only mess up your hair. But a tornado can lift cars, roofs, and even entire houses. It forms when warm and cold air collide, creating a spinning motion with extremely low pressure inside. From a distance, it looks like a gray tail reaching down from the clouds, beautiful but terrifying. Scientists use radars and satellites to predict and warn people before it hits. What is an ice tsunami, frost wave? Just a snowy wind or a massive wave of ice? The correct answer is a massive wave of ice. An ice tsunami is one of the rarest natural events. It happens when ice on rivers or lakes moves under pressure from wind or water. If it were just a snowy wind, your hands might get cold. But an ice wave can move like an avalanche, destroying houses and trees. It creaks, cracks, and looks like a giant white monster crawling over the land. Scientists study these waves to understand how climate change affects frozen lakes. Sometimes the ice moves slowly, like in slow motion, but other times it can cover an entire area in minutes. And if you hear loud cracking by the shore, it's not an ice cream falling, it's nature mixing the ice her own way. What is a geomagnetic storm? A burst of solar activity or just rain outside? The correct answer is a burst of solar activity. A geomagnetic storm occurs when streams of particles from the sun collide with Earth's magnetic field. If it were just rain, your shoes might get wet. But a magnetic storm can affect satellites, power grids, and even people's moods. When the sun releases plasma, it races toward Earth at incredible speeds. When it hits, it triggers a cosmic dance, the aurora borealis. The sky lights up with greens, pinks, and purples, like space throwing a party. Scientists watch these storms with observatories and spacecraft to protect our technology. What is a sandstorm? Dust and sand flying in the air, or just a light wind? The correct answer is dust and sand flying in the air. A sandstorm happens when strong winds lift millions of grains of sand, turning the sky golden. If it were just a light breeze, maybe a bit of pollen. But a real storm can block out the sun and make daytime look like night. Sand travels at bullet speed, scratching windows, cars, and even skin. They're common in deserts like the Sahara, where air is dry and hot. Scientists study how these storms carry nutrients and even microbes across continents. And if a grain of sand lands in your eye, don't be mad, it's just the desert saying hello. What is a boiling mud geyser? Just a small puddle or mud that bubbles and boils. The correct answer is mud that bubbles and boils. It's not soup and not a hippo spa, it's a natural geyser. When gases underground escape through mud, they create bubbling fountains. If it were just a puddle, you'd only see footprints. But mud geysers can explode with a loud plop, spraying hot clay around. They can be found in Iceland, Kamchatka, and California. Scientists study them to understand volcanic activity beneath the surface. And visitors are advised to keep their distance. Nature's mud shower isn't easy to wash off. Why is lightning dangerous? 
Because it carries electricity or because it shines brightly? Correct answer, because it carries electricity. Lightning isn't just a bright flash, it's a real electrical discharge. Imagine a giant spark connecting clouds and the ground. It can heat the air to a temperature hotter than the surface of the sun. That's why the air around lightning literally explodes, and we hear thunder. If lightning were only light, we could enjoy it like fireworks. But it carries a massive electric charge, and that makes it dangerous. Scientists track lightning with special instruments to know when and where it might strike. And if you see a flash, don't try to be a superhero with a metal umbrella. What happens during a volcanic eruption? Hot lava flows out or just steam rises? Correct answer, hot lava flows out. A volcano is like Earth's giant kettle, except it's filled with magma instead of water. When the pressure gets too high, magma bursts out. That's an eruption. Lava flows down the slopes, ash rises into the sky, and the ground shakes. If only steam came out, it would be like a spa day for the planet. But volcanoes are powerful, they create new islands, change landscapes, and even affect the weather. Scientists keep a close eye on them to keep people safe. And locals sometimes joke, if the volcano's waking up, it should at least have some coffee first. Why is thunder heard after lightning? Because sound travels slower than light or because lightning is shy? Correct answer, because sound travels slower than light. When lightning flashes, the light reaches us almost instantly, while the sound of thunder takes a few seconds. If lightning were shy, the whole sky would blush every time it flashed. In reality, it's just physics. Light travels much faster than sound. So when you see lightning and hear thunder after a few seconds, you can even estimate how far away the storm is. Scientists and rescuers use this method to measure storm distance. And if thunder gets really loud, you can say, wow, the sky forgot to turn off its drum set. What is a drought? When there's no rain for a long time or when there's too much water? Correct answer, when there's no rain for a long time. A drought is when the sky forgets to turn on the rain for way too long. Rivers shrink, plants wilt, and animals and people struggle to find water. If there were too much water, it would be a flood, drought is the opposite. Scientists study weather and climate to predict when droughts might happen and help farmers protect their crops. After a long dry spell, the first rain feels like a holiday, everything wakes up, birds sing, and kids dance in puddles. As some say, it's raining. Earth finally remembered the moisture button. What happens during strong wind? It just gets a bit cooler or trees sway and break. Correct answer, trees sway and break. Strong wind isn't just a gentle breeze. It can bend trees, lift dust, and even knock things over. If it only brought cool air, it would be pleasant, but storms and hurricanes show the true power of air. Air may be invisible, but when it gets angry, it's stronger than water or fire. Scientists and meteorologists monitor wind to warn people about upcoming storms. And if the wind steals your hat, don't be mad, it just wanted to try it on and show off to the clouds. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.